Hello and welcome to another edition of Resources for Life TV at resourcesforlife.com. My name is Greg Johnson and um, I am in Iowa City right now on the north side of Burlington Street approaching Lynn Street and I'm just going to show you what this looks like here and um, I'm doing something that you know normally you would you would probably advise against I'm going to head right out here into Highway 1. It's a fairly busy highway in Iowa. It goes through actually the downtown Iowa City area. And again, I would recommend do not try this on your own. But here, as you can see, there are signs posted. There's one that went by quickly. I showed you one earlier on in the video. There are signs posted that indicate bicycles are not allowed on this uh, very pleasant looking sidewalk over here. As you can see, there are no pedestrians right now. It's a very wide sidewalk. And there's plenty of room to navigate. But, unfortunately, that's illegal, at least on the north side of Burlington. If you're on the south side of Burlington, you can ride on the sidewalk. So, the uh, regulation or law or rule or whatever seems a little bit ambiguous. And it is dangerous. Um, we get semi-trucks coming through here. Let me just give you one example. So I don't know if you'd want to ride your bicycle next to a freight liner, but... And cars going the wrong way. It's, it's just chaos out here. But according to the local laws, that's what you got to do. You know, so you're riding your little 30-pound uh, bicycle side by side next to semi trucks and you know oversized vehicles and loads it's a highway you know anyway uh, unfortunately no bicycle paths have been put in here's another semi truck that one almost hit me um, I'm gonna try to get off the road down here again 20 feet over here and the law changes here it's okay to ride on the sidewalk. Seems very ambiguous to me and and really bicycle unfriendly, you know, for those of us who are trying to have a smaller footprint, make less noise, produce less pollution, improve our health, that type of thing. Uh, making an effort and yet, you know, the laws almost make it prohibitive to try to ride your bike and, you know, where's the place that you're going to really want to ride your bike? not out in the countryside so much, you know, you, you're downtown, you want to run some errands. Downtown is really where you're going to want to ride a bike. It's where people would come on bicycles if they were commuting. So to allow semi-trucks in the same area where people are not prohibited, you know, where, where bicyclists are prohibited from riding on the sidewalk, it just, it just doesn't make sense. Anyway, I'm just kind of, this is a video in the series of videos on things that don't make sense. And what I'm noticing is uh, it seems like as irrational people get into positions of, um, of management that we're seeing essentially the institutionalization of um, just irrational laws that either aren't necessary at best and at worst, as I was just pointing out, um, really prohibit safe activity and demand unsafe activity and hinder people from trying to do the right thing, you know, as far as riding bikes. So anyway, I guess uh, what we'll have to do is, you know, see what um, citizens can do to try, try to w raise awareness and bring in more bicycle trails or paths or bike lanes and create a more bicycle friendly um, urban setting. So any ideas you have along those lines, I'd really appreciate hearing uh, from you. Take care. This is Greg Johnson with Resources for Life TV at resourcesforlife.com. Signing out.